Diamonds. Today we are creating a new character. I wanted to design another villain, also known as Monsters, in my story. I knew even before I started to draw that I wanted him to be a fox. I looked up names that meant fox and I found two that looked good together, Asnard Voss. Even though I plan to make a manga with this that will hopefully eventually get adapted into an anime, he is not going to be considered as a kitsune in the context of the traditional Japanese folklore. I know that in Japanese, Fox is kitsune, but I'm not making him like any weird paranormal thing. He's simply a fox villain, and the only supernatural thing about him is what every creature and monster else in my world has, which is an animal spirit. I had a little bit of trouble designing his hair. I tried to tweak things here and there, but eventually, I just settled on a basic afro. This design may be subject to change in the future though if I come up with a style that better suits him. Here I'm looking for different poses to put him in so I can get a feel for his personality. I feel like he reminds me of the big city at night and I get the sense that he likes to wear cologne. As you can see, he additionally has shaved slits in his eyebrows and parts of the front of his hair indicating sharp points. I tried looking for little things I could add or in this case, take away to elevate the sort of vibe I wanted. He's a bit of a rebel, so he probably changed his appearance slightly to see how far he could go and test the limits of what his peers would tolerate. Then it may have just stuck and this is how he now chooses to take stylistic liberties. I also made the decision to bring just the middle of his hairline down a bit to create some sort of widow's peak without making it very obvious. My favorite part about him has got to be his eyes, fox-like and beautiful, which is what I was going for. He looks sly and charming, and I'm sure he could swindle you into thinking that he definitely did not just swipe your wallet, phone, and watch. It's too bad a simple chant that you say three times won't send him away. My question though is, how did he get into the main villain organization? The one with Aizumi and Ethan? I've never actually really talked about them in a video, but they're in a short, the only short I have posted so far, which hopefully will not be for long. I mean, I get he's a monster, but he just seems like your average everyday criminal. All he really does is steal. But maybe he knows some valuable information that he offered to give in return for a place in the organization. The higher up the ranks he gets, the more of a life of luxury he'll live. From the outside looking in, you'd think the monsters were poor and didn't have much going for them. But their king, Yugere, long ago promised to give them what they quote unquote deserved. He probably knows the history and wanted in on it. Otherwise, they wouldn't have much of an influence or even waged war on the creatures to begin with. Also, I might be posting this earlier if I end up finishing my next video before the 25th. I have a few drawings lined up that I've yet to do voiceovers for, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see to find out. I'm off of school finally, so if I have free time, I'll do it. Anyway, I like the colors I chose for his outfit. The top, a cream-colored button-down shirt with a large collar, and some red pants which I'd like to believe are corduroy. He has simple black sneakers which work out because he does a lot of walking anyway, and it would be unconventional to have nice shoes on all the time. And again, his very pretty, flaming eyes that almost match his animal spirit. This is about all I have to talk about, and the footage is already running out, so I'll leave it here and let it play. Have a wonderful day and rest of your month. Bye, Diamonds!